Hello, this is a bit of a different scenario that I don't normally do, and I'll drop the accent, I promise. <laughs> this is going to be my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S3 through Sprint. My first impressions are pretty good. I charged it last night, right before I went to bed, and I woke up, had of course a full charge. Been using it non-stop. In fact, I'm even uploading a video on my second channel right now. Josh is nice. Links will be in the description like always. You can also follow me on Twitter where I post about when I'm uploading videos, when a video is about to be uploaded, when I'm recording and what I have planned and etc. So I'm on Facebook, Google Plus and all the other services too, but I use Twitter the most because I can just do it right from my phone. People message me on Facebook and it takes me like seven years to get back to them. Message me on Twitter, it takes a few minutes. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. It's about 11 hours, 20 minutes, almost 12. And like I said, I've been using it like crazy, watching a Mr. Guitar Man video, watching other YouTube videos, and watching them in HD. Tweeting like all day long, tap a talk every 15 minutes sends me notifications about threads that have been updated or new replies have been made on. Why do you interrupt every video? It lets me know there's a new reply to a thread. I get mentions on Twitter every three minutes. I use Google Voice, which uses data. I have tons of things syncing constantly every three minutes. Plus, I got screen on time of two minutes. Actually, I changed it. I changed it to 30 seconds and I enabled the smart state feature where while you're looking at it, a little icon pops up and tells you that, hey, you're looking at the device, don't turn your screen off. My first impressions with this device are, I don't want to touch any other devices. I don't want to look at the Evo 4 GLTE. I don't want to look at the Galaxy Nexus. I don't want to look at any other device. This thing with two gigs of RAM, mind blown. Like, I've had a Samsung moment, I had a Samsung Intercept for a day or two, then I went to the Transform, and I had that for about a year, and then I finally upgraded to the Evo 3D, and then I got the Evo 4 GLTE. This thing is awesome. The little notification light, it's awesome too. On the Evo and other devices, you've got to like pay attention, and do I have a notification? Sweet, I do, or no I don't, or something. Not with this thing, it is like... You can have your phone down anywhere and it'll light up nice and bright letting you know you have a notification. And of course you can disable that, you can change the color. There's so many awesome things about this phone. I'm literally taking notes like crazy on all the little bitty details that I love about this thing so far. I cannot get over how fast it is. I picked up 4G in an area that I don't normally get LTE. I live here in the Kansas City area, so I can get LTE, but when I go to work, I don't have LTE there. I was picking up LTE. My Evo won't pick it up, but this picked it up. I'm gonna see if I can finally top the 40 meg per second. I have videos on this channel where I got 38.7 megabit downloads on my freaking phone. Your phone! So I wonder if I can top that with this device. Who knows? Seriously, if you're on the verge and you don't know which phone to get, two gigs of RAM. At any given time, I have 1.1 gigs available. For RAM. There is no lag on this device at all. Open up a million different apps and flip through them and change back and forth. There is just no lag. And this phone is beautiful. I like the speakers right here and when you're holding it or it's laying down it's just it, it, it seems loud. I can't get over the fact that it has two gigs of RAM. The 1.5 gigahertz dual core is pretty nice. I've never used TouchWiz, ever. I've never used it. I had to transform right before the Epic came out, and then I didn't get the Epic Touch. So, this is my first Samsung device since the moment. The transform was like the red-headed stepchild. I'm not even going to talk about the Intercept. Ugh. <laughs> but, I love it. Blue. Light up nice and bright. I have a notification. What is it? It's Tap and Talk. One of the 1900 threads that I'm subscribed to because I like to stay up to date on devices. Even devices I don't even have. The little lock screen thingies? Yeah, that took forever to figure out. I went through all the settings, could not find it. I'll tell you a little secret, it's under security. <laughs> Literally, I was looking at the face unlock and all those other things. I was trying my... I was trying my hardest this morning to find it. I was like, where is it? Where is it? I went under all the settings, I kept triple checking everything, thinking I was just missing it. Freaking, they hide it under security. Literally, menu, settings, security, so I can find it again. Yeah, right under screen lock, like where it says screen lock, and it's like swipe, face unlock, and etc. Which this does have face unlock. In fact, it has more options than any other phone I've seen. 
Swipe, motion, face unlock, face and voice, pattern, pin, password, freaking crazy! And then right under that's lock screen options, and then you can change your lock screen stuff by switching out the app. I know you can't really see what I'm looking at, but it's under lock screen, trust me. You go to security, and then you go to lock screen options, and there it is. Just press on where it says shortcuts. Not the on and off button, but where it says shortcuts. Just like if you're going to your Wi-Fi settings, you type on the word Wi-Fi. Yeah, battery life. 12 hours of, I'd say, moderate slash a little bit of heavy use. On the first full charge. Installing apps, uploading your video right now to my second channel that's done. <laughs> There's too many good things to say about this phone. I'm getting an extended battery whenever CDO finally releases it. Also got some cases from CDO and Cruiser Light that I'm going to review. Tons of cases from Cruiser Light actually, and a couple from CDO. There's going to be many more videos of this device, including how to root, which I'm going to work on very soon. I can't stand not being able to just restore stuff. I've got to sign into all my freaking accounts. I've got to change all my settings. I've got to do all this crap all over again. SwiftKey, the 45,000 keystrokes that I've had since restoring it from my Transform to my Evo 3D to my Evo 4 LTE, and then I'm going to transfer it to this when I root this device. Which is going to happen. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to install Science Montan. Which honestly after playing with TouchWiz, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many little details in being able to change the vibrate pattern to a custom freaking pattern. Like you can do like a song like... Dun, 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 Telling you, this phone is freaking awesome. <laughs> I've never been this excited about a phone. Uh, honestly, TouchWiz and all the little features here and there, I don't, ugh, there's so many. Like, like if you're on a call, you can just put it up to your ear and yeah, there's just way too many options to go over. I'm going to give it a few more days and then I'm going to do my full review of this phone. Trust me, this phone is awesome. In the words of Flossie Carter, it's a go. I honestly give it, from a 0 to a 10, I'll give it a 12. I'm not even kidding you. I only have a couple little tiny things that I liked about the EVO 4 GLTE a little better than this phone, but if I had to choose between the EVO 4 GLTE and the SGS3, 2 gigs of RAM, dual core 1.5 GHz processor, mind blown. If you want to see more videos of this device, please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. In the description, you'll find links to Flossie Carter's review of this phone and other videos that I think you should watch. Seriously, this is what we Josh do, and this video is over. Bye bye, Spider Man!